fresh garden grown herbs are a must for any kitchen gardener. Hi, I'm Ben and together we're going to plant this herb garden in next to no time and for a super low cost too. Come on, let's get started. Right, so as you might have guessed, we're going to locate our new herb garden right here. It gets a good amount of sunshine, at least in the afternoon, and importantly, it's close to the back door. And that is important because you want your herbs to be as close as possible so you'll be more inclined to pick them and use them as and when they're needed. To make the uh, new herb garden, I'm going to be using a pallet collar like this, the same as I've used in many of the beds in this part of the garden. Pallet collars are very durable because they're treated and they're very cheap and they're very easy to handle and they come already constructed like this. It's obviously had a good life and it's going to have an even better life as a herb garden. Now you can use any soil of course and you can plant your herbs in the garden beds as normal. Uh, they don't need particularly good soil, most do need quite good drainage though. So if you're growing Mediterranean style herbs like say rosemary and lavender, then you can improve heavy soils by digging in plenty of compost and grit to give them that sharp drainage they need. To further keep the costs down, we'll be growing herbs using a number of super easy affordable methods. From growing grocery store bought herbs, using herbs taken from cuttings a few weeks back, plus a few herbs propagated by division from some existing plants dotted about the garden. Right, let's start with supermarket or grocery store herbs like these. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that this isn't one plant, but in fact, lots of little young plants all clustered together in the same pot. These herbs are sown, grown and sold on without ever thinning. Left like this, they're done for. They'll soon run out of resources and give up the ghost. However, by splitting them up, we can make them last for much, much longer. A pot like this can easily be split up into sort of three or four separate clumps. And you start at the roots and then carefully just tear them apart like that. And the difficult part is separating the leaves. Just jiggle them around, around like that. There you go. There's perhaps one clump there. This one, I'll split into two. Some of the seedlings are obviously going to die off and that's fine and you'll get a lot of die back from the leaves but the crown of the plant should still be fine and that will grow on. Now rather than planting them straight out into our new herb garden I'm going to pot them up into fresh potting mix and grow them on for about two weeks and then plant them out. That way I can keep a close eye on them, keep them watered keep them growing on so they're in top form by the time they go out. This method of splitting up grocery store herbs is especially useful for herbs that aren't easily propagated by cuttings such as parsley or cilantro or coriander. I'll give those a good water then they're good to go. Have a look at these pots of parsley. And these ones here too, they were all grown from a single pot of grocery store parsley. These guys have been sitting around in these pots for over a month now and they're itching to get out into the soil so they're more than ready to include in our herb garden. You can also propagate herbs from cuttings too. Now this little collection of herbs was propagated from stem cuttings just five weeks ago using packets of herbs bought very cheaply also from the grocery store. These mints and basils were simply propagated by dropping prepared cuttings into water then waiting for them to produce roots which took about two weeks. The rooted cuttings were then potted up into fresh potting mix, grown on in pots and here they are about four to five weeks later. And these thyme and rosemary plants were rooted in a very free draining mix. Just an all purpose potting mix with some added perlite, then carefully separated out and potted on in the same way as the basil and mint into their own pots. If you'd like to see the full video on me doing that, then check out this video and I'll also pop a link to it in the video description below and include it in the playlist at the end. In many instances, herbs can be propagated simply by lifting them up and then dividing them, like this oregano or oregano here. Now, ordinarily, the middle of summer isn't the best time to divide herbs like this, particularly when they're in flower, but there's some good growth down at the base there, so I think we'll be able to get away with it. And it has been quite wet recently, 
so I think it'll be just fine. Okay, so the first job is I need to cut back some of this top growth so I can see what I'm doing. Once I've done that, you can see that there's plenty of growth at the bottom. It's small, but that's all the uh, future growth that'll grow up once it's replanted. So there's no problem there. You can see what we're doing now. And I want to split apart a couple of clumps for our raised bed. So I'm just going to stick two forks back to back like this. Just get it in there rip them apart it looks a bit brutal but it's absolutely fine and that there for example is one clump ready to go that will romp away i'll just do another one uh perhaps a third for good luck and that lot's going to go back where i dug it up from back there this method works really well for other herbs like um, chives creeping varieties of thyme and lemon balm Ideally, you'd lift and divide plants later in the summer towards the end of the growing season while the soil is still warm but the top growth has slowed right down and this will reduce stress from evaporation from them being lifted and split apart. I'll be keeping a very close eye on the oregano to make sure it doesn't wither in the sun and keeping it well watered if it does. Oh, okay, so let's crack on and do this. Now, because we're on a bit of a slope here, the first job is to get the bed nice and level. Onwards and upwards. All of the stuff I'm excavating from the sides, I'm just chucking into the middle of the bed, which will obviously help fill it up. Yeah, it's all, it's all nicely level now. So I'll just spread that out so it's nice and even and tuck it into, right into the corners to kind of anchor the bed into place. So the first filling into the bed is all these old bits of prunings, sticks, branches. They've been lying around in a pile. I've smashed and broken them up a bit and they're going to form the first bit of the bed. Because the herbs like it free draining, this is going to be absolutely fine. They'll just sit there and as they rot down, they'll very, very slowly release, the, release their nutrients. I've got some old compost here. This will be fun. Great. Now to get on with the fun part, planting it all up. Now the sun comes from here, that's west facing, so it gets lovely strong afternoon sunshine. So I'm gonna plant the taller things to the back here. So that's things like rosemary, that'll grow anything from two to three foot or 60 to 90 centimetres tall. Don't want too many of those because they'll grow into bushes, I just put a couple. Um, and then mint, this mint is uh, an apple mint, beautiful, lovely in tea, uh, but it can grow quite tall and it'll probably need a stake pushing in and tied to it to sort of stop it flopping over eventually. Uh, mint is notoriously invasive so what I'm going to do is going to pop two of these in a pot and another two in another pot and then keep them in the pot they can grow out and root out from the holes in the bottom but that just keeps them constrained and stops them galumphing everywhere and taking over the whole bed so that's our mint and our rosemary and then we want the uh, the next lot which are our sort of bushier plants in the middle <coughs> that's the basil pop these guys here and to a certain extent the oregano or oregano pop those there and then towards the front I'm gonna have the lower growing things um, parsley doesn't grow too tall so I sort of have it maybe snaking around in a beautiful kind of river like that so doing a good arch round I think that look really pretty and right at the front I am going to pop our thyme. So I'm just going to do a whole layer, it's going to flop over and that'll kind of set it off beautifully. And this way you've got like a lovely kind of stack effect of herbs going from the shortest at the front to the tallest at the back. You'll be able to see everything and most importantly the herbs will all get plenty of sunlight. I'm happy with that. 
It's looking good. I'm going to crack on and plant. Right, I'm uh, really happy with that. It doesn't look like much now, but you can see it's all going to grow out really well. The plants are really healthy. That's the important thing. And uh, yeah, it's going to look fantastic in probably just two or three weeks. I'm going to give it all a good water. It doesn't need watering. There's enough water here. I'm giving it a water just to kind of settle, settle the sort of um, compost down around the root ball of the plants. That's the main reason. And then once it's grown up a bit, some plants like uh, the parsley and um, you know the basil and so on, they'll just be nipped out if they get too long and leggy and that will encourage them to continue bushing out at the base and form really stocky, bulky plants. And there's that cilantro or coriander I split apart earlier on and I'll pop that into place once the basil's over later in the summer. Great. Ah, I'm really pleased with it actually. And there's quite a lot here for what came to around 30 pounds or 40 US dollars or roughly 40 euros. That includes the herbs, the stuff to fill the beds with and the pallet collar. It's not bad for what will give many months of absolute joy and of course tasty pickings. Now I hope you're inspired to try something like this yourself and if you are please tell us how you get on in the comments below. Please do smash that subscribe button ding the notification bell and why not give us a very muddy thumbs up while you're at it. I'll catch you next time.